G'day, mate. So you want to learn how to speak Aussie English? Well, good on you, mate. Australian English is, of course, a variant of Standard English, the current world language. English is naturally spoken by the British, as well as the Irish, the New Zealanders, the South Africans, the Canadians, the Americans, and many other people around the globe as a second language. Of these English variants, Aussie English is seen as being the most informal, the most daring, the most outrageous, and the most fun. If you're at all interested in Australia, or ever plan to travel to Australia, or even listen to Australians, then you'll need some understanding of the Australian language. If you don't, then chances are, mate, you won't understand much about what's going on. The Aussie English CD is all about teaching you what makes Australian English different from the English spoken everywhere else in the world. In it, you'll learn the expressions and vocabulary that are uniquely Australian, as well as how to speak with an Australian accent. And, perhaps more importantly, gain an insight into the Australian culture and develop an understanding of what's really important to your average Aussie. You'll do this, mate, by immersing yourself in the four cornerstones of Australian life. The Barbie, which is a national institution. The beach, which is where we'd all rather be. The outback, Australia's vast interior that has helped shape our national identity. And the pub, the place where mateship is forged and reinforced in the absence of balls and chains or a battlefield. You should work through these sequentially, mate, as they assume you have obtained the knowledge and the context given earlier. In each of these four areas, which you can access by clicking on the buttons on the right, you'll be presented first with an option to watch an interactive animation that will immerse you in Australian English. Do not be alarmed if you don't understand some or even all of what is being said. That's normal, mate, and you'll find that over time, more and more of what you hear will make sense. Most of the animations also contain one or more interactive games that are designed to reinforce Australian vocabulary. A chance for you to learn while cooking a barbie, conducting an outback band, hunting tucker, or just getting me dressed for my big day out. Finally, mate, each of the four areas has core Aussie lingo explained by me in some detail, such as that relating to mateship. You should check this out after you've watched the animation, played the games, and seen the overview. This will also allow you to compare your accent to that of a native speaker. Of course, mate, once you've done that, you can revisit your favourite scene or jump to your favourite game using the other menu options. You can also look up words and expressions and hear them being pronounced using the dictionary. So mate, if this is your first time here, then it's off to the barbie for you. Either way mate, get into it. Crikey mate, come to join me for a barbie this RV, have we? Well mate, since this is the first of four cornerstones of Aussie life documented in the Aussie English CD, I'll remind you again that you should begin by viewing the Barbie animation. You can get to that by pressing the Have a Barbie the Savvy button. Remember, don't be scared if you don't understand everything at first. You're not expected to, and your comprehension will increase over time. After you've worked your way through this, including the interactive games, then you should listen to the Barbie explain to better understand what you've just experienced. Following this mate, but really at your leisure, you should get into the Barbie lingo section in which I introduce some core Aussie language concepts and where you can practice your Aussie accent. Finally mate, if you want to go back to your favourite scene or pop to your favourite game, then you can do that by just selecting the appropriate button. But of course, don't do that till you've scoffed some snags while watching the Barbie animation. Good luck, mate. Mate, 
So you've managed to survive my big day out at the Barbie the other Arby, eh? If you've come here without going to the Barbie, then you'd better pack your tongs and get cracking before I go crook at you. If you've just come from the Barbie, then you'll know what to do, mate. Just grab your DTs and splash your way into the beach by selecting the first menu option. Then watch the beach explain to catch up on the stuff you missed while you were getting dumped because you didn't swim between the flags. Finally, mate, you can sit back and watch me do all the hard yakka explaining things to you in the beach lingo. Well, apart from when you're working on your Aussie accent. And mate, this is an Aussie beach we're talking about, so don't forget your sunnies. You'll need them. Ah, the outback. It's what you think of when you think of Australia, isn't it, mate? But what does it actually mean? And what role does the outback play in the lives of ordinary Aussies? Well, mate, that's what you'll find out in this section. Along with lots of Aussie slang, of course. Just keep an eye out for crocs, mate. There's no one to save you in there. Congratulations on working your way through the Barbie, Beach and Outback. That's quite an achievement, mate, as a lot of Aussie lingo and cultural concepts were introduced in those areas. By now, you must be well on your way to thinking and speaking like a dinky die Aussie. There is one area of Aussie life, though, mate, that you still haven't mastered, and that's the pub. You'll find this is a bit different, mate. Because you've come so far, we expect more from you. Once you enter the pub, you'll find that it's wholly interactive. That's right, mate. No more sitting back and expecting John or myself to do all the hard work. It's up to you to explore the place by clicking on things. We've also included a little bit more humour, mate, just so you can let your hair down after working so hard. There are also more general quizzes that'll let you test yourself against all things Aussie. So charge your glass, mate, and see how you go. I'm confident you'll be right. Mate, I can see you're keen to get the good oil on the major Aussie words, phrases and cultural concepts. No dramas with that, mate, so long as you've first worked your way through the Barbie, beach, outback and pub areas. If you haven't, then return to the main menu and get into it. If you have, then go ahead and enjoy this reference. Of course, you'll know what to do, because you've done it all before. On ya, mate. So you want to reinforce your Aussie vocabulary by playing some of the games you've come across exploring the Aussie English CD. Or perhaps you just want to have a bit of fun, eh mate? Either way, no worries. Just make sure you've worked your way through the Barbie, Beach, Outback and Pub first, and that you're not jumping ahead. That way, the games will make more sense to you. So play away, mate. G'day mate. First of all, I'd like to give you a big thanks for buying this CD. Fair dinkum mate, if no one bought it, then we'd go broke, and then you wouldn't see products like this again. And I tell you what, 
I reckon it'd be a bloody shame if we didn't have any Aussie language and culture products on the market. A bloody shame. So good on you, mate, for supporting us. Anyway, it's bloody easy to buy yourself another copy, or your first copy if you're watching this on a mate's computer. One way is to go to the website www.aussieenglishcd.com and buy it from there. We'll just post it out to you quick smart, mate. You can go there directly by clicking on the button on the right. But if that doesn't work, or if you're not connected to the internet, then just remember www.aussieenglishcd.com so you can go there later. Write it down, mate, so you won't forget. So thanks again, mate, for supporting Aussie language and culture products. Here's hoping there'll be plenty more, eh? Keep an eye out for them. Mate, as gifted as John and I are, we couldn't have given you the dinkum oil in Aussie English without the help and support of some really good people. So, to everyone involved, a big, heartfelt thanks from us both. Are you off, are you, mate? Rightio, no worries. See you later, eh?